cats are over there rattling. Of course, that's not double coils now either. That's uh, that's what's sailing through. Bang, bang. What's this? There's the 24 kilohertz. There's that, the 24. This, this. Sucker runs all the way up to 611 kilohertz. Shouldn't be anything in there. I mean, it'd be interesting. There's some negatives going on there. It'd be interesting. If the thing had more torque. I, I don't notice any difference. 24s. 45% duty. I get that cap that should have been thought it'd be good for up to here it's about where it was at before but, uh, yeah we're running uh, I see no delays I see no back EMF I don't see a freaking thing it's like one big resonant freaking circuit if it's resonating Forty-six minus forty-eight minus three forty-eight forty. Five hundred and two five zero seven. Things running around. No, can't keep track of it. <laughs> I'm 30, 20 cycles. Spitting out a lot of freaking voltage. So I ain't got a torque meter for this. I don't know, seems like a waste to me. 800 volts. And that's pretty much tuned. 1.56. And it could be a little better, I guess. One fives. 800 volts. 12 volts there, 12 volts at a half amp going in, 800 at 1.6 mil coming out, into a 100,000 ohm load. And I don't know what the inductance is. Seems like a waste. Cog belt. Two point two seven hundred volts. KT 
2.12 700 volts One point eight milliamps, seven fifty volt, well, it turns it. This looks like an awful lot of waste there. It wouldn't be that bright when I had the double coils on there. I ran it like that. But it runs it. Yeah, it's got pretty good torque. I just thought I'd see if I could run that belt. 1.7s, 8s, 750s. That took a bit of a loss. It again. But it's wide open. So, it's just still running around 20 RPM. We're down to 7, 20 volts. 1.2.8 milliamps. That's not, that's about the same. We lost some voltage. If we, where is it at? There it is. We've got that. Seems to be a bit on the negative side. A bit. 24 kilohertz. It's reading the frequency right, despite the voltages being way off. Now this, well that's the frequency. That all looks about the same. Three kilohertz. We lost some speed, of course. We're down to 10, 11 volts, half amp. At least five of them before at a moderate speed. I don't know how many it's skipping over now. The, it's not going fast enough to flash the lights. It's holding in there. Or perhaps going up, I don't know. Yeah, that's a 100 MFD I got on there. 100 MFD, 50 volt, I think. Yeah, 50 volt, 100 MFD, 50 volt. That's the little freaking low resistance diodes I got on there. And that's a one watt zener. I don't know how many amps. Four amp, SCR, whatever. Thirty six gauge. It's almost maintaining a constant. 
9 to 10 volts, we're down to 1. Point, well, that's still about the same, 1.3 milliamps to run it. I'm waiting for this thing to do something. There's the two I took out, marked them for the front. Easily turn that around. Well, let's see how this comes out. That's two pounds. So that makes up for four coils. I don't know why it stopped at 16 volts. Well, it charged the thing. I mean, it took two or three hundred milliamps and eight, nine volts to really start charging them things. Maybe 10 volts. Look at this. 